Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, it's cold, it's windy, and I'm heading to Camas, Washington. Well, I made a quick stop at uh, Sherwin-Williams, picked up my favorite color, Confident Yellow, and I uh, went through a lot of that during Halloween because I use it to make, um, to make orange and stuff, and I use a lot of orange during Halloween, obviously. Anyway, heading out, and I'll see you in a few minutes. I've always been comfortable with writing, the process of writing, been dating myself, so now you guys can see kind of how old I was, because that's why I was in college. I'm in downtown Camas right now, and it's a, it's a beautiful little town. It's just fall. Especially this time of year. Looks like something out of a movie. It's really quaint. Okay, I gotta figure out where I'm going. <laughs> Hi Libby, it's Scott Campbell. The... the mailbox is full. Okay. Well, I was checking my messages. Libby, who is the manager at Under the Sea, uh, I've got the, I've got her address here, but it says Vancouver, Washington, and I could have swore she said it was Camas. So maybe that's a uh, outside of Camas or in Vancouver on the edge or something. So I just gave her a text message, and I'm gonna wait and hear back from her. Okay, just Google the address, and I'm gonna follow the directions. It says it's 4.5 miles away. All right. So this is a behind the scenes video of me getting lost. <laughs> Not really lost, but I should have plugged in the address uh, when I was even getting close, or maybe when I was in Vancouver. But uh, she said Camus, so I thought, oh, she lives in Camus, and Camus isn't that big, so I just made some assumptions. But I wasn't using the left side of my brain today. <laughs> not very analytical. Anyway, it's not too far from here, so I'm just going to follow my little phone GPS, and it should be there in five or ten minutes. Turn left at 800 feet. Okay. Got it. <laughs> well, I got to see historic downtown Camas at least. <laughs> that was nice. In two miles, take the exit on the right. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Southeast 196th Avenue. I think it's in this shopping center, but it said turn right. Once you get in these shopping centers, the GPS kind of goes haywire. But I don't see anything in here. I saw a dental place across the street, but it didn't say under the sea, so. I'll get out on the street again and see what it tells me. There's a lot of dental places around here. There's Wendell's Dental over there, and there's uh, Smiles Dental here. So it's gotta be in this shopping center. I crossed over into a different shopping area. So, oh, I see it, there it is, under the sea. <laughs> in 400 feet, turn right onto Southeast 192nd Avenue. There it is, under the sea, dentistry for children. Oh, this looks pretty, pretty... Take the next right onto Southeast 196. Shut Avenue. up! <laughs> then your destination will be on the right. I'm gonna head inside and see if they're open. Okay, I'm gonna head inside. Oh, this is pretty. It's really nice. Ooh, it looked like some of it chipped off. It's pretty though. Look at the details. Really cold. 
Oh, hi there. Is Libby here? Oh, okay. Yeah, so if it works for you, we'd love to see you. Oh, pretty. <laughs> All right, sounds good. You're welcome. Thank you. Hi, I'm Libby. I'm Scott, the window painter. Yes, hey, how's it going? Good. Oh, it's so festive in here. Yes. Huh. Yeah, it looks like a different, couple different yeah, styles. Yeah, a couple of different styles in here. Okay. So, right. yeah, it looks like it chipped off a little, though. Well, we, this has been on a while. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, this is. Well, my, on, mine won't do that. It'll. it'll yeah, this has been on quite a while. Um, but, yeah. Cool. So basically, yeah, just kind of sticking with that theme and um, because it's winter, we can go wintry theme. I'll ask her. I don't know if she wants Christmassy on here. She, if she does, it's usually Holly. She doesn't like to go too crazy. Um, okay. In case people aren't real Christmas people. So, <laughs> you know, so I'm thinking she's definitely going to want to go wintry more at least because it's winter time. Okay. Um, do you want to leave this open or do you want to like maybe fill this up with a big character and leave the whole side open or yeah something. it doesn't matter i think the other people just always done that so anyway because yeah this is such yeah. a this is such a uh big space yeah, yeah it's bigger it's not blocked right. by the mullion so yeah. i can i mean i can still put you know yeah, little things down there yeah yeah so i'll yeah. ask her she's on the phone now just see if she wants any hot you know christmasy style stuff or just winter okay yeah and then i'll just i'll take this off mm -hmm. and uh you know, it'll it'll probably run about two fifty for okay. the whole thing. All right. And I'll then, let her know and, and that does include if I do come back to redo it. Yeah. It the cleaning would be it'd be yeah. free. Okay. Yeah. And then this first time, yeah, I'll just yeah. clean it. We I, typically this hasn't been ever bare since we started doing this. So. Oh, yeah, so you're gonna change it anyway? We yeah. So we'll change it to a, just a different theme next time. Or, well, then you know, yeah. yeah, it's just included yeah, yeah. in the cost. Yeah. But you're no. covered, so that's really great. Yeah. And uh, and I'll come up with some different characters. Mine are a little bit different. I don't know oh, if you've yeah. seen my work. Or... Um, I saw a little bit, yeah. We figured that everybody has a little bit different styles. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'll probably, you know, I'll probably do something up here. Okay. You know, more characters. I just kind of lay it out to make it fit. Yeah. And make it cute. Like yeah, for, right. li for little kids. <laughs> yeah. So I don't do a lot of like, I do kind of bigger characters. Okay. Like I find a fish here, a whole fish. I, I try to make them more animated and okay. and friendly and okay. Not that these aren't friendly, but right, yeah. Well, you'll see. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. But I'll clarify if you want to see the winter theme. Okay, I'll start getting my stuff out. Okay. Wow, it is chilly and cold. Probably the first cold, uh, real cold day of the season. And with the wind, it makes it probably about, definitely in the 30s. Could be the high 30s, but it could be the low 30s too. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get my stuff out while they decide if they want to go, go with winter or Christmas. Right, which is where she writes a check. And Scott, is it one T or two? Uh, one T. One T. Okay. And Campbell is C A M P B E L L. Okay. Like Camp Bell. Camp Bell, awesome. Or soup. Soup, there we go. <laughs> For any of those that are new to the channel and haven't seen some of my old videos, these are the gloves I do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's how windy it is. <laughs> these are the gloves I wear with these gloves underneath for when I wash the windows when it's freezing like this. I gotta protect my hands. Okay, stay put.
Alright, I got all the windows washed off and uh, it's starting to rain, but at least I'm covered from the overhang. And uh, I feel good. I had to take my cap off of this uh, the hoodie th hood thing because uh, I was getting hot actually because I'm sitting there laboring over the windows. Anyway, they're all done as you can see. Looking good. Okay, I did a couple little sketches. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay these out. I want to do the walrus on the door. Okay, it's wet, windy, and cold. But I am uh, managing to get it done. I got the walrus on the door. And I left my tarps at home. I like to lay those down usually to catch paint dripping. But I just got to really make sure I get all the paint off of this roller before I attack the window. So far I haven't dripped any, but so I got this guy, this quick fish here. So I'm gonna leave this open, put some stuff at the bottom. I gotta get an octopus on there somewhere. So I think I'll make down there. I'm gonna have him come up to the top window. But we got this here. I block his legs, so I'm gonna go down here and uh, maybe put him right here. So I kind of split up. I'm gonna put the head on top. And then I'm gonna make him facing facing in that way towards the door. I like to have the characters all facing towards the door. Makes it more inviting. I'm going to have the octopus's head here. I think I'll give him a, a big goofy mouth and really big eyes. Kind of goofy eyes. Like so. I like him. So I gotta do eight legs here. I could even have him extend down into there too. That might make him look really cool, really big. Looks like we're getting some rain on the window. Windows probably hardly ever get wet, but it is extremely windy today. So I'm going to keep going. Just deal with it for now. I can always trim these legs too. He's like. Uh, excuse me, you with your walrus. <laughs> You're having too much fun in here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I hear him laughing. Unlike what was painted here before, I like. I like big stuff. I mean, I'm going to do a few small characters, but I just think big stuff's cool. See it from farther away. This is more inviting. Get all this paint off. Okay. So I'm going to make a big sweeping motion here going to be the path of the dolphin. So I'm going to do his, do his head here. Have it come down like that.
like so. I might have to <clears throat> trim his nose a little. I want to make him fit. <laughs> The bottom, the bottom jaw of the dolphin comes out, it juts out farther. Just like a moray eel, the way they depict those, their faces look like that too. bottlenose dolphin. I'm gonna have to bring up the bring him up a little higher. So I need room for the bottom of his jaw. Sometimes it's good just to paint in the whole area like this, and then you can sketch it out. And then after that, you can carve it out and remove all the... See, there we go. This has to come out farther. Past his, past the top part. Makes him look more dolphin-like. go we're getting there <laughs> it's fun to work on wet paint you can just like erase it and you can really get what you want At least that's how I like working. And you can just come back and take off the other stuff. He looks, he's kind of sharp, so I'm gonna have to round off his nose so he doesn't look like a bird. Swooping down. And I'm going to have a bunch of bubbles coming off of them, too. Okay, we got a little bit of rain on it, oh well. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna do a seahorse. I'm gonna make the face and the head above the window here. And I wanna make him look kind of more like a horse. I just think that'd be funny. <laughs> Cause seahorses, they, they do look they do look like horses, but I think it'd be funny to make it look even more like a horse. So make the front of him really look like a horse. <laughs> Except for the ears maybe.
So he's kind of looks like a horse, but he'll also look like a seahorse. And it is getting chilly. Chilly and wet. Ooh, I like this guy a lot. He looks like something out of a... Looks like that Mr. Limpet cartoon. So I don't know if it's... Oh yeah, it comes up like this. So. Kind of like little fins or something. All the characters in I'll put some bubbles in and put a little stuff on that bottom I think I'm gonna take a break though and warm up a little my feet are getting a little chilly I need to get new shoes too Whew. find my keys start the car warm up a little Crank up that heater. <laughs> okay, I'm going in with my teal and making some water. I did some icicles along the top, lots of bubbles, and a couple snowflakes. So it's getting pretty filled, filled up. Now I'm just gonna continue doing this water. And actually, I was going to put some plants down there, so I might cut some of that water up. Okay, still having problems over here a little. So it's kind of weird to paint it when you know it's going to run anyway, but oh well. <laughs> I'll have to come back and touch it up. Hopefully this uh, the wind will slow down or the rain will slow down one or the other. Let that sit and dry really good, take another break, and then come back to it. 
Looks like the rain let up a little. We still got a lot of wind though. So I'm just warming up in the car, letting the paint dry. Let's head back out. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty windy. And uh, we get these gusts once in a while too. They come up. Oh well. <laughs> That's life of a window painter. Well, I'm back in the car again. Yeah, it's really uh, getting to be a bit much. It's uh, the rain picked up and the wind picked up. So it's sitting the side and uh, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Okay, I'm going out. I'm gonna pack it up. Okay, day two of uh, Under the Sea Dentistry for Children, and I'm heading back. It's not as windy today, so I'm excited about that. It's still, still rainy, but without the wind, I should be able to take care of the job. I'm just backing out of my driveway here, getting ready for the day. All right, see you in a few. Okay, we're back for day two at Under the Sea Dentistry for Children. And uh, I've got a little ways to go, but I think I'm over halfway. It looks good though, it's big and bold. That's the way I like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna back in here. It's a lot better today. The wind is really light and it's not even raining too hard. And I heard in the middle of the day is supposed to be even nicer. All right, let's get started on day two. <laughs> All right, I am back. And uh, as you can see, I've got some of the color laid in. And I brought my tarps. <laughs> and you can see the two, the ground is dry. The wind hasn't blown in the rain today. So I'm gonna lay down these tarps. That'll save me some time and trouble of having to clean up my mess. <laughs> Well, today I brought some uh, t-shirts. I got new rags that I cut up and I'm gonna put these right like this. This is where I wipe my paint and my rollers on. 
If you're new to the channel, this may be of some interest. And then on this side, I'm just going to put another one that I use to wipe the window and wipe spots and stuff. Okay, good to go. Well, I'm going to start off today by filling in our little friend here, the seahorse, with orange. I'm going to come back and do the front part of them a, a lighter orange, but for now, I'm just going to fill it in completely. I'm not going to worry about the edges so much because I'm going to trim it. And this orange, because it has white in it, it covers really well. One coat. Sometimes you can get away with that, just doing one coat. Alright, we got a little friend painted in. Alright, I got my $1. fifty a quart mist tent and my 2 inch poly brush foam. I'm going to go in here along the bottom and I'm going to lay in some sand of the ocean floor. And this I'll probably do two coats. So I'm just going to get this first coat laid in like so very quick come down here actually I think I'm going to cover up these all this junk here so I'm going to put a little hill here bring this up like that this will be the seabed and then I'm going to have some uh, sea plants coming up or seaweed or whatever so this is pretty quick you just want to get that first coat in let it dry while you're working on some other stuff all right fortunately for me I ran across this gray with a roller and uh, I used this color on uh, Portland Pastimes, that big fall tree. But uh, while these guys are drying and everything's setting, I'm gonna come over here and knock this gray out on this dolphin. So his belly in this section I'm gonna leave, actually it comes down here. I'm gonna leave that all white or like a light gray or light blue but his fin and the top part of his body it's all gray and uh, you can use a two inch poly brush too for this or whatever whatever kind of brushes work for you but for speed the um the roller works really good all right there we go <clears throat> looks like i might have to put some white there paint it over that but he looks pretty dynamic whoosh <laughs> okay i'm gonna make me up some lime green for this little guy here so i'm going to take some of my confident yellow put it in here and then put a little bit in here and then uh Take this mist tint blue and just a little bit in here and a little bit more in there because I want this to be darker and this to be more limey. <laughs> All right. So there's our quick lime green. 
going to use for the body of the fish. And this will be the shadow color. All right. And I can take some of this too and add white to it to make the highlight. Alright, for his fins, I thought I would use this color. It's a good contrast with the green. And uh, this color's got a lot of white in it, so I'm going to go ahead and just do one coat. The lime green isn't very saturated, so it, it takes two coats. When you add white to colors, it it's, uh, makes the color not as saturated and luminous and bright but it covers a lot better. And I'll of course come back and trim this too. As you can see, it's covering pretty good. So I only have to do one coat. I kind of just smear the paint around, like get it all down, and then come back and sort of lightly smooth it up over to make the color even. I don't always trim the icicles. A lot of times I just do them really nice so I don't have to trim them, but in this case I went ahead and did a second coat and, and I come back and trim them, trim them up nice. Okay, I'm heading over to the walrus again. And uh, I did two coats of this uh, blue and it didn't cover that well. That's because this is a sample. And sometimes I forget that when I buy these things are on sale. You know, it's better almost to just get the regular blue. Go ahead and buy a larger amount or a gallon. But, oh well. So this third coat will take care of it. And then I'm going to come back over here do the fish's glasses a third coat too. And it probably would have been fine, but you know, I'm kind of a perfectionist at times. I like the color to be nice and solid. But what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to take this old thing of blue and I'm going to make me up some dark blue. I'm just going to add a little bit of black to it. this will I'll let that blue dry on the glasses and the walrus's hat and then I'll come back with this blue here's a shadow so I'll just let that sit for now all right I'm back over at mr. octopi <laughs> and I'm gonna lay in a second coat of the base color purple oh that looks good Nice and smooth, nice and even. All right, it's going great. I've got the dolphin here, all painted in, the base colors, base color purple, two coats of purple on the octopus. Got the walrus, all his colors, base colors in. Got the sand down here. And I've also got the, um, the I was gonna say horseshoe. <laughs> the seahorse and this little guy on the end too. So all the colors are done. Now I just gotta go in and put in the highlights and the shadows. And then I get to trap it in black, my favorite. Okay, I'm going to start by making a kind of a burnt orange color for the shadow for the uh, 
seahorse. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush, take some of this, this dark, dark orange color, and I'm gonna mix it up with this color here that's already in a tray, lighten it up a little bit. So this is a little bit too dark for the shadow. So I'm going to mix in this and this. And this will give me a nice shadow color. And this guy, he has kind of spiny fins and stuff. Except for his stomach is a little bit different, but I'm going to come down like this. A little shadow here. And then just kind of come out and then connect these. So that's kind of what he looks like. It's like spider webs almost. <laughs> but then his stomach, I'm just gonna go like so. Which looks the same once you get down there anyway. Then on the bottom, you make it a little bit thicker. And then the top, you just leave it blank. Gonna come back with a highlight color. So down here, thicker. A little bit of shadow there. Like so. And his face is basically a real horse. Come up here. I don't even know if you guys could see this with the GoPro at this angle, but and then I'm gonna make a eyebrow like so, or not an eyebrow, eyelid. That's his eyebrow. He's pretty cool. Oh, I gotta go up here and do a little. I'm going to trim that too. So now for the highlight for that. Oh, maybe I'll use this white. <laughs> I'm always using brushes, other brushes, so I don't have to dig them out. But it needs more of a yellow tone to it. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to that. Take some of that, kind of tone it down a little. There, kind of almost sort of an orange tint. And then this, I just, it's very light. You can grab it on end like this and go like that. Just little highlights. Like so. <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah, you can turn it on end too. You can go like this. Make little highlights. And on this part, you want it to be kind of thicker at the top, the highlight, like so. I hope that makes sense. <laughs>
because he has so many patterns in him, it really helps define the seahorse. Up here I just go sideways like so. Grab it on end. He's a cool character. That's probably one of the better seahorses I ever did. <laughs> But you see how it's easy doing the highlights. You just daub it. You don't worry about being perfect with it. You just, it's a suggestion. Okay, he's ready for black. All right, next I'm gonna work on the color for the walrus, the shadow. Okay, I've got this brown here, but it's too dark for the shadow color. So I'm gonna take this and this is empty, so I'm gonna dump a little bit in here. Take this brush, smush it around, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna add some of this color too. All right, that's perfect. Now I'm going to do the shadow on this guy. I'm going to go paint his nose in. Okay, this is going to dry darker than that, but still, this is a little bit light. So I'm going to come back here and add more of the dark. Okay. That's what it's all about. You just play with the colors and there. I'm probably going to paint his nose black anyway. There, that looks good. Do a little shadow underneath his hat. In his hand, I ended up giving him <clears throat> giving him four fingers. They usually only give animals three fingers in cartoons. He's reaching out saying, Welcome. <laughs> Sometimes I'll paint behind here, but I got lazy. <laughs> That's just his other arm. A little shadow underneath his muzzle, or whatever you call it. And then, kind of suggesting hair a little. Sometimes the other colors that are in the brush come through and you gotta kinda go over it again. Okay. There we go. And you always wanna look and see if you could use this color anywhere else. Nope. <laughs> this color here could be used for the highlight for the walrus. This is the sand color down there. I just grab it kind of like on the end, like here. See how I'm like, just go like this, like so. And when the top's hitting like here, you want to make it thicker. Again, the top, make it thicker.
<laughs> He's pretty cool. And I'll just add a little brown to it and I can put the shadow on the sand with this color. So I can come back here and take some of this, go like so. Maybe a little bit of that. And then, oh, I still got to do the green, the seaweed too. Forgot about that. And then here I just grab it on the end. This is like a lot like doing snow. So I'm going to darken this up just a little. That might be too dark. with that just play with the color I feel like Bob Ross <laughs> just play with the color move it back and forth feel it feel how that works isn't that wonderful I don't know what that color is coming through that's like a gray but if I squish it around it should be fine this brush had some gray in it <laughs> I guess that's okay. Did you need to come out? Oh, not yet. Oh, okay, cool. Remember that blue I made earlier, the dark blue? We just come along here. This is for the hat. This color is perfect. It came out really good. And I'll come back with a light blue really quick here and highlight it. Let me go grab it really fast. I can mix this blue with the teal. You make a perfect blue for the... I found this lid for the teal. So I'm mixing that dark blue I just did with that. And then I can come up thin, thick. Thick, thin. Thin, thin. Thin, thick, thin. Yeah, it brings that to life. It gives it some form. All right. Should we give them blue eyes while we're at it? <laughs> Okay, I've got this medium green here, and I'm going to put in the seaweed and the, the little plants on the bottom, which I forgot about. This glass is so nice. It seems to be covering in one coat. Sometimes I add coral and little rocks and things too. But, there's so much going on here, I don't really need to do that, because people are going to be focused on the characters. Okay, this color also, is the, I'm going to use it, it's a little dark, but I'm going to use it for the shadow for the, for the fish. This part, when you're doing your mouth, you take the top part and you come down a little. Then you grab it on the end. Just do a wide sweeping motion and get a nice big smile. Little shadow under there. Like so. Sometimes I'll do the top with green, almost like an outline. But you don't have to. Okay. On to the next color. Okay, next I'm going to take this color, kind of a pinkish color, and come in here and add some of the details of this fuzzy muzzle. <laughs> fuzzy muzzle. I 
remember that only strikes darker too. I'm gonna run over here and do the highlight. Grab the highlight. Hold on there a second. Okay, it's pretty much white, but I took a little bit of this color, just mixed it in, because I was too lazy to look for the flesh tone, but it'll work. Here's I'll drop in a little highlight in his eye on here. That's kind of weird, got a little bit red in it. I'll come back and fix that. Okay. He's good for now. <laughs> Next, I'm going to work on the, uh, the highlight for the fish. So I took some of the lime green, a little bit of yellow. Going to make me a really light, limey yellow color. And uh, I'm going to use this again because I think I'm going to paint some scales. You know what I'm going to do, I think, just so I can do the highlights and shadows now. I'm going to take the green and go ahead and paint the scales in. Basically the scales, you take it and go like that and then you go from the middle of the top scale to the middle of the bot and the next one, like that. So it looks like they're overlapped. See how that works? The middle, 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 like that. Okay, since I have the colors out, and then I'm gonna just go like this and highlight the highlight the scales really quickly and I may or may not come back with black so but that helps define him you know what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I want to paint the inside of his glasses because I want to show his eyes but I don't think I'll do it green oh this is perfect and then I can use this for the other areas of white. But I think I'm going to paint paint over this because I want to show his eyes inside instead of just having the you know the glasses. He looks cool. <laughs> and you'll see when I come back and do the black. And then the shadows, you take the very corner and you just go like that. And if you want to use a small little single stroke brush, that's cool too. Whatever works for you. I think I'll add some, some of these too down here. It looks pretty fishy. Maybe I'll kind of highlight it. Like so. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good, <laughs> kind of cool to come back and add more little water effects. Makes it look nice.
You can do all this at once. These bubbles, I don't outline them usually, unless they're really big bubbles. Then I'll come back and outline them, but I'll be here all day outlining these. <laughs> all right, I'm wrapping up all the color, the highlights and the shadows. Just gotta finish this octopus's head. Some highlights on it. All right, onto the black. <laughs> okay, we got all the colors done. All the pretty colors. Pretty characters, pretty colors. I'm really happy with this one. I think it came out really good, despite day one and all the rain and stuff. Okay, now onto the black. <laughs> I love doing the black. <laughs> All right, that's pretty damn cute. <laughs> I just got to do a couple little dots in the eyes for highlights and Mr. Octopus's head is done. <laughs> Sometimes when I do the black, I feel like I'm dancing. It just feels so fun and fluid. Oh. 
that looks so good. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, look at the walrus. I know. They are <laughs> Thanks a lot. Now this is why I painted the the, eye, the sunglasses lighter because I wanted to show his eyes, show his expressions. <laughs> all right i'm all finished here at under the sea dentistry for children here in near camas washington i got the dolphin it's funny with that dolphin though check it out that's supposed to be these are supposed to be his fins and that this is the fins and this is supposed to be the you know the fin on top but it looks like a bow almost <laughs> and then there's the octopus walrus seahorse I really like the seahorse and this little guy too well, let me turn the camera around and get some pictures of it <laughs> Gosh, look at the mess I made. <laughs> so, so, so. If you found these videos useful and you'd like to support this channel for as low as 25 cents a week, go to patreon.com backslash Scott Campbell. Thanks.